hey guys welcome to the channel i hope you are doing well this is epson workforce wf2910 dwf this printer is multifunctional printer four in one in the sense you can print copy scan and fast with this printer i received a question someone asked how to connect this printer to wi-fi network you can connect this printer to the wi-fi network wi-fi direct or with usb cable to go to your phone depending on gadget you want to use so check my video how to connect this printer using your mobile phone and also how to connect it using the laptop i'm also going to show you how to connect this printer using usb cables so check my videos you will see these videos now to connect this using the mobile phone first of all things you need to do is you need to make sure you have the network information you need to make sure you have the network password first of all you know the network you want to connect this printer the password for the wi-fi then go to your play store on your phone type epson smart panel epson smart panel epson smart panel you need to download this app on your phone is already downloaded on my phone select enable and update open it up so while the app is downloaded on my mobile phone another way to do this is for you to go to the printer setting then select network for you to connect this then it's, once you select network then you select wi-fi network then you type the password from the printer but first of all we want to do this using the mobile phone open up the epson smart panel this is epson smart panel agree to terms and condition thanks for choosing epson smart panel select next you need to share the smart device location select next once you open up the panel select location select allow while using this app then you go back to epson smart panel once you allow the location it will start to search the printer so now it's searching for the product sometimes i find this process taking a long time then you go back to the epson smart panel this is epson smart panel then the next thing you need to do is select plus on the top select plus would you like to check if your product is supported select no now from this epson smart panel you select set up a new printer or connect a printer already on the wi-fi so we select the first option set up a new product it will start to search for available products so thank you for choosing epson product then you select continue let's start it select continue turn on bluetooth on your smart device so select turn on epson smart panel is asking to turn bluetooth on select allow so it's turning now bluetooth here we go and it picked up the printer wf2910 series then you select on the printer are you sure you want to select this product then you select yes the product wi-fi connection settings are required to be able to use the product from this app then you select proceed to wi-fi connection setup select proceed this guide will guide you through the wi-fi connection setup so that you can connect use the product then you select next the product is password protected initial administration password is shown next the password select next enter administration password so you need to open up the printer you can see the administration password inside the printer panel once you open it up enter administration password so you look on the printer to put the administration password so you type it in once you put the password then you select okay check the product ssid connect the product so you picked up the available wi-fi network so it will ask you do you want to connect the product to your wireless network do you want to use the network shown below then you select yes so you picked up the available wi-fi wi-fi network password is required then you select next then select the password usually shown on the back of your network router select next do you confirm the password then you select yes once you select yes then you select next you need to put the password for the network so i have the information here so sometimes people ask where do you get the password you get the password for the printer from the back of your network router so i'm going to type the password enter your network password and once you put the password the next you need to do you need to select okay 
do you want to connect the following printer to using the following network then you select yes wait until the product wi-fi setting so now it's progressing you can see up to nine percent can see it's progressing Ninety four per cent. Wait until the product setting is complete, then select next. The product display on the following it is connected to the Wi Fi network. Is it connected? Select yes. So the next thing you need to do, you need to go to Epson Smart Panel, open it up. Now select plus, select the second option to connect the product already on the Wi-Fi. So select connect the product and define the product WF2910 series. You need to select on it. Connection is complete. Select OK. This is the printer here. It will show you the ink level. Then you go back. From this, now you can print document, you can print photo, you can print document. You can capture document and scan. So if you want to print document, for example, just to show you that this is working, then you select print. Then you go to your mobile phone and select the document you want to print out. Select this document, for instance. It's one page, one page documents. Go to the settings and change the document type as A4. So select A4 paper, then select done so now we're going to print this document so select print There we go. So this document you printed out. So this is how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network with your mobile phone and print out document. Thank you very much indeed and stay blessed. Thank you.